What's up guys, I'm Coda and this is Halfcraft 2.1. In Minecraft, all blocks are aligned to a grid. You can't put a block in between these spots here. It has to be exactly on top of one of them. Halfcraft changes that. It lets you take blocks out of this grid, essentially unlocking them and allowing you to move them by tiny fractions of a block. This turns the block into what I call a free block. You can use these free blocks to create fully functional slabs, stairs, and all sorts of complex shapes out of any block you like. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to install this at the end of the video, but for now we're going to jump straight into the features. This egg I'm holding is the Halfcraft multi-tool. You'll be given one when you install the module, or you can right click this sign to get one. Right click the top of a block with the multi-tool to turn it into a free block. This will move it up by half a block, immediately turning it into a working slab. At this point, you can then select and deselect the free block by punching it. When you select it, you'll see a menu show up in your chat, and the menu contains these three options, nudge, erase, and deselect. Each of these can be used on all your currently selected blocks, or just the most recently selected block shown by a green outline. Deselect is fairly self-explanatory. Since you can simply punch selected blocks to deselect them, the primary use for this is deselecting several blocks at a time, like so. Erase causes the block to fall down until it hits another block, then it will turn back into a regular block. Try to make sure you don't erase blocks above other free blocks or any non-solid blocks, as that can cause issues and prevent them from turning back into regular blocks. Now we come to the nudge menu, and this is where Halfcraft really shines. The nudge menu allows you to move selected free blocks in all six directions by small increments. Each direction is color coded to correspond with the debug cursor colors, with the lighter colors being in the direction the debug cursor is pointing, and the darker colors being the opposite direction. The number on the right here is your nudge strength, and it controls the amount of pixels, or sixteenths of a block, that the blocks move each time you click one of these directions. The arrows above and below this number can be used to change your nudge strength. So for example, you can have a nudge strength of 1, and only move the block by one pixel each time you click. The default is 8. Selected blocks can be nudged, erased, or deselected no matter how far away they are, as long as they're still loaded. So make sure to deselect the blocks when you're finished with them. Let's talk about compatibility for a moment. Halfcraft 2.1 is compatible with Minecraft 1.12 only, not 1.11 or 1.13, but exclusively 1.12. When Minecraft 1.13 is released, I will update Halfcraft and turn it into a data pack, which will be more optimized and have a few new features. Halfcraft is compatible with any and all texture packs and resource packs, but is not compatible with plugins. Halfcraft is also fully multiplayer compatible. Unfortunately, Halfcraft is not without a few bugs, so let's take a look at what they are and how to get around them. The first bug occurs when a free block is embedded inside a regular block of the same type, turning it invisible like so. The solution for this is to take the regular block that it's embedded inside and turn that into a free block too. Problem solved. The second bug is less of a bug and more of an unfortunate side effect of a Minecraft feature that causes mobs to dismount each other when in water. Since free blocks are partly made up of mobs, this makes them fall apart in water. Unfortunately, there's no fix for this, so free blocks just can't be put in water. That's all the features of Halfcraft 2.1. Now let's take a look at how to install and customize it. First, find a good place to put the module. Make sure it's in the spawn chunks or other permanently loaded chunks, otherwise the module will only work when you're close to it. Go to the Halfcraft webpage linked in the description and copy command 1. 
paste it into a command block in your world. Set the command block to always active and the module is now partially set up. Go back to the Halfcraft webpage and copy command two. Paste it into the same command block. Set it again to always active and you've installed Halfcraft 2.1. You should see some instructions pop up in the chat here, but if you miss them, you can always click the instructions sign to see them again. However, this does not mean you can instantly turn any block you wish into a free block. After installing Halfcraft, you start with only these blocks. If you try to use the multi-tool on another block, like for example, this one here, it simply won't work. All is not lost, however, for I've also supplied an extension supporting all these blocks, and you can install it with another one command. Back on the Halfcraft webpage, copy extension command and paste it into a command block in your world. Set the command block to always active, and the extension is set up. You can activate it and deactivate it using the sign on the front, like so. And you can also remove it completely with the sign on the back. With the extension installed, you can now use the multi-tool on most of the more common blocks. But if that's still not enough for you, you can create your own custom extensions for any block you want using the generator on the website. Let's go back to the Halfcraft page again. Scroll down a little and you'll find this extension generator section. Let's say I really need to be able to work with sponge blocks for probably no good reason. So in the block name text box, I'll type sponge. Block data here is only for when there are several kinds of the same block, like different types of planks or different colors of concrete. So you can mostly leave that alone. Now copy the command in the big text box below, paste it into a command block and you guessed it, set it to always active. The new custom extension will set up and it will work in much the same way as the larger extension, having an activate, deactivate and an uninstall sign. And finally, after all these years of waiting, I can at last create sponge slabs. And that was pointless. On the back of the Halfcraft module, there are two signs. The uninstall sign will remove the module and scoreboards and get rid of any Halfcraft multi-tools. It will not remove any of your free blocks, although the ones resting directly on top of regular blocks will themselves turn back into regular blocks when you uninstall. If you want to get rid of the free blocks, as well as uninstalling the module, make sure to click the erase all free blocks sign first. And if you do forget to get rid of all the free blocks before you uninstall, all you need to do is reinstall the module and click the erase all free blocks sign. Both of these signs work the same way when you click them, giving you a five second window to confirm your decision. If you change your mind, just wait and the signs will go back to normal. That's all for now though guys, so thank you very much for watching. In the description you can find a link to the Halfcraft webpage on bitcoder.com where you can get the commands and everything you need to get started with Halfcraft. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more command creations and other Minecraft videos. See you next time.